Today we'll be having a look at and installing the Redline Unitized Oil Seal for Trailer Hubs. This oil seal is perfect for trailer hubs that the bearings are bathed in oil versus grease. It'll provide a superior seal to make sure you don't have any oil leaks and maintain all your oil within your hub, promoting long bearing life. Now we'll put in our new oil seal. This is different than our standard grease seal that we had because we're going from a grease system to an oil bath system for our bearings. Notice that there's a side that says air side and that goes away from the oil. So you place it down like this. So silver side goes in, black side faces out. Okay, now we'll drive our seal in. If we have a seal driver, that would be great, but I don't have one large enough for this. So I'll use a block of wood and I'll tap it in with a hammer. Once it bottoms out, we're good. Okay, with our seal in place, we'll now slide our hub onto our spindle. Okay, now we can put in our outer bearing. So I'll put our shim on, and we'll thread our nut on place. Okay, now we'll use our channel lock pliers and we'll tighten our nut down a little bit. And then we'll put a new cotter pin in it. We'll bend the tangs on back. This will keep our nut from being backed out. Now we'll take our new oil cap and we'll screw it onto our rotor. And then we'll snug it down until it's tight. Okay, now we'll put our oil in. We'll just fill it up to the edge of our cap. And let it soak in there for a bit. If you want to speed it up a little bit, you can spin the hub while you do this. That'll help work it into your bearings. And once the oil level drops to below our fill hole, we'll fill it up until it comes out our fill hole and put our plug in. This may take a few minutes for it to soak in though. Okay, with it level, we can now put our fill plug back in. We'll make sure we check our oil level on all of our hubs before we actually tow our trailer. And that completes our look at and installation of the Redline Unitized Oil Seal for Trailer Hubs part number 10-63.